Morning guys. Now if you've seen my previous video, I was exploring the final part of the Spire Ultra route. Um, we got to a place where the Ultra and the Chesterfield Round Walk went their separate ways. We've explored the end of the Spire Ultra race over there. Now we need to veer right in this field and about halfway along the wall on the right the little gate that we can get to. So we'll follow the round walk from here on. Uh, this isn't on the ultra route so it's purely round walk for the rest of this part. Let's see where we're going. This is the little gate where we exit that field. The next style is one of my favourites. See we're signed here for the round walk route. we walk diagonally across this field you can see the two stones standing there <laughs> which presumably you needed to walk between at some point <laughs> which uh, I always do when I come this way but yeah there's no real barrier to stop you from going around them Look at the views though They're getting pretty high up now you can see Chesterfield in the distance it's the perfect weather for it Keeping to the left of the field as we come through those two stones. Still frozen in the shadows here. Just heading for the exit in the corner. Of course, where the frost has melted, it's pretty damp. Oh, yeah, I'd say that's pretty damp. Again, we're keeping left. So we get out of this field. So this is where we need to go between the farm buildings there. Straight ahead between the biggest buildings. Some round walk signs to keep us on the straight and narrow. As much as we can in this sloppy terrain. gate to get through there made more tricky just because of the muddy ground in this section but we're just about to reach the point where I first discovered that the Chesterfield round walk yeah. existed so yeah keeping left as Kamoop says if we look ahead I was out on these trails one day my route took me down there it wasn't the best idea it turns out in the end thanks to Kamoop for suggesting that one but uh, yeah, saw this sign in the middle of the field. It's quite in the middle, you get the point. And here we are. Chesterfield Round Walk. Chesterfield Round Walk, this is the sign I found. Lots of information about the, the route there. And when I got home I looked it up online. And that's how I've ended up exploring it. And. Uh, Looking forward to doing the Spire Ultra on a similar route one day. So, anyway, carry on. Keep left in this field. So as the field opens up, I think the navigation is telling me to veer right slightly. So I'm heading towards that gate. You'll have noticed a slight change in character the way I'm presenting the directions since the first video. Obviously I set off from near my house on the first one and I knew all the routes very well from there. Um, we're on a section now that I've only been on once before and uh, yeah 
after another section or two we'll just be into the great unknown <laughs> you'll see me being a lot less sure about where I'm supposed to be going but I will find the correct routes and uh, show you where they are after a bit of exploring of course right so the navigation is telling me to carry on following the line of that fence seems familiar ah, here's the spot where you get through just to the right of the gate blending into the rest of the wall and we're through now at this bit where we're about to enter a farm gate I think we need to turn right out towards that wooden gate there it's very tricky ground yeah I firmly remember sinking ankle deep in the mud slash poop last time I was here and I was heading down towards those buildings which wasn't a good idea and there used to be a footpath between them uh, <laughs> not so much these days well Camus didn't care go that way anyway it said Luckily it was early on a Sunday morning, no one was about. I managed to make my way to where there was an actual, an actual path. But keeping left this time, because I think this is where we're supposed to go for the round walk. No, nope, I'm going to have to correct myself there. It's not the right way for the round walk. Yeah, if I had my eyes open I would have seen the round walk signs on this post over here. But uh, Moot was showing me to go right quite a way before turning left. I'm blaming the app, as usual. So, straight across that field to the next gate. Just going through there, not gone far. attention now <laughs> yeah I kept a bit too far right there I think into all the muck <laughs> I think we're heading nearer towards the top of the field rather than keeping to the right hand side of it nope stand corrected again there's a style over the right hand corner of the field this is where I should have been going Take the next right. right over the style some dogs came to see me the biggest noisiest one. Here we are, round walk signs. <laughs> Finally. This is why I explore the route ahead of any races. <laughs> you can see a round walk sign down here. It's nice to be on track for a while. Being lost on your own is one thing. But when you're making a video telling people where the route goes. <laughs> Less than ideal. I'm sure you'll bear with me guys. I'm learning at the same time as you. So I make sure to download the route on commute for use offline. Now it can still tell me where to go when I've got no signal. Okay, I recognise this bit. Oh, I've been in the opposite direction on this route once before. Through these woods. So I think we just follow this for a while. from the trees there. I think I can see some yellow through this marshy bit. <laughs> Path's not as clear as it could be. I guess this bit doesn't get walked so often. Probably due to all the mud you have to go through. The ground's breathing at me. That's a good sign. Oh, that was more of a squelch. Oh my goodness. 
coffee to just dry it out. So I do see a round walk sign on the gate there. Okay, through that gate, I think I can see yellow on a post up where that metal gate is. Some kind of marker stone in the field here before we get to the gate. It says A, this side. A, A, calm down. <laughs> I don't know. It seems to have Roman numerals for four on that side. Okay, the gate's open, but there is a pedestrian gate there with the round walk sign on. So, it's a fairly easy straight line to the main road here from what I can recall. Some farm animals here, guys. I'll let them clear before I go through. Oh, guys. Little style at the end of the chicken and sheep field. So this is it. This is where we meet the main road. You can see why it might be safer not to have the spiral to race route crossing this. Not fun to cross from there. I came out of that little gate. You can't see left around this corner, and it's a 60 mile per hour road. So I moved a bit further towards Chesterfield. But anyway, we just need to get onto this road at the far side. Chesterfield round walk sign straight up here. So we're approaching somebody's property here. The sign tells us to veer left, and the course kind of jinks round the property and takes us to the car park for the famous Red Lion at Stanage, that's a pub and the Peak Edge Hotel which is next door so yeah, we'll just follow that wall you can see the buildings for the hotel over there so the grass turns to pebbles and we know we've made it to the hotel car park there's the Peak Edge Hotel and the famous red lion. Now the round walk goes Take down this left. yeah next left down this main road with no path. Um, on the left hand side there's a fairly wide verge which I've used before so that's where we're heading now. Just as you leave the pub and hotel there's that big stone there. Fairly sizable. So as we make our way along this busy road the first turn off in the right is for the golf club. We don't want to go there. The next right takes us towards some farm buildings and that's where the round walk route continues. So, have we made it as far as the entrance to Stanage Golf Club? I'm gonna leave it there for today. Uh, we'll carry on from here next time. We're exploring the round walk and uh, see where it takes us next. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.